Hello internet, I'm Udoka, welcome to my channel. I have a new MacBook, surprisingly more technical difficulties with a MacBook, but we're here, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do what we do on this channel, which is talk about whatever the heck that we want. I'm often talking about my own mental health journey and following my passions, but I also get impassioned by stuff on YouTube because I am a consumer of YouTube, okay? Just like how you are watching me right now, I watch other people a lot, okay? I'm. It's super weird. It's trippy. It's trippy <laughs> to know that the way I watch other people, y'all are watching me right now, and I want to talk about this lady on my screen, uh... Belle Aubrey, but she also goes by Pastel Bell. And I want to talk about Eugenia Cooney and Willie Mack. Now, I don't have many subscribers, and Xylee Gets Real don't have many subscribers, but one of these days, one of these days, someone's going to come up in the comments on about, <laughs> Is that you just copy Xylee Gets Real. Why can't you just be original? Well, you know what? Zyla Gets Real is just my, she's just my type of woman. I don't know. Like, she brings things to my attention and I'm just like, I gotta react to this. I don't know. So, for those out there who are like, oh, you're just copying Zyla Gets Real, you know what? Then go subscribe to Zyla Gets Real. Go subscribe. I really, I really like what she's doing. I love building parasocial relationships on here, but she's really good at it. She's actually building a little community of like-minded people and she gets on live and we hang out for like, look at this, two hours we hanging out and I was in this live stream, this Willie Mac versus the T channels. I never heard of this Willie Mac, okay? And... I wasn't like, I'm kind of tired. So when I was watching Xylee's live stream, I wasn't able to fully pay attention because, you know, we're chatting and she's interjecting and stuff. But I did want to, there is a portion of Willie Mac's video. And listen, I don't know who Willie Mac is. So if you're going to be in the comments like, oh my gosh, Willie Mac is this, Willie Mac is that. Listen, I never, I don't know his stuff. I don't know him. I cannot vouch for him. As you can see, I'm not subscribed. I'm not subscribed yet because I don't know this guy. I don't know this guy. But this portion where he's talking about um, PB, I want to talk about. Now, let me say this. I am, as you can see, I'm subscribed to Belle Aubrey. Now, I used to be part of Notification Gang. I did. I used to be part of the Notification Gang and she said something that offended me so much that I got off the notification gang. I'm still subscribed. I'm still subscribed. Meaning I can still, let me see. Let me see, girl. You got some good content. But mm, if, mm, if I'm not vibing with you like that, then I don't need, I don't need no notification, push notifications on my phone. Know what I'm saying? Cause y'all, I, I've been working at this new job, it's stressing me the heck out. I'm in sales, okay? And it's just different. It's just a different work environment. It's very corporate. It's very not the vibe. It's it's very <laughs> corporate life. It's really not the vibe. And I'm trying to learn because oh, that's, that's for another video. That's for a personal video to talk about. I'm just saying I don't need the extra stress. I don't need push notifications, and I don't know if this person is finna F up my vibe or not. But I do want to say that I, I'm subscribed because I like a lot of her content, and I agree with a lot of her takes. And as I make more videos, I'm learning how to balance. Um, I'm learning how to balance my emotions and parasocial relationship with this person and creator and balance that with my thoughts and what's coming to my mind and disagreements. So all of that to say, I'm just trying not to be a bitch. Okay. I, just, I, I want to talk about things that concern me without, 
without the person feeling like, I hate you. Mm. Because that's what happened with Mysterious T, honey. I was talking about things that concern me. And now listen, I kind of have a little conspiracy theory because I'm not the only one who feels the way I feel about Mysterious T, but I'm the only one that she'll talk about on her live. I'm, I'm the one that made her so super. I'm the only one that made her upset, but there's people who are saying more and worse about her, but I'm, but I'm the one that she sent her little peep, her little clunies to, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's just a little conspiracy theory that I have. You can go ahead, comment, girl. No, the girl, not it. No, 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 no. But I don't know. Maybe there's just something about me that when I'm trying to give a legitimate criticism that means something to me, I'm not trying to say you're a piece of garbage, bullsh, crizzle, and you should just get off the internet and everything you've ever created is hot garbage. That's not what I'm trying to say. That's not what I'm trying to say. Okay. So I'm just learning how, how do I, how do I come off? You know what I mean? If I think you're a piece of hot garbage, I will let you know. Listen, I will let you know. It's not many people it's not many people on the list of hot garbage, but we'll get, we'll talk about them. Don't worry. We'll talk, we'll talk about them. But today, Bill Aubrey, we're going to talk about you. And the other thing is I want, this is also somebody who I, I believe in. And I feel that if you take this criticism, your work can be even better. Um, you know, like, there's nothing wrong with growing and learning together. Let's, let's play together. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing wrong with it. Okay. So all of that disclaimer to say, and I'm looking around cause I'm looking all at my screens, but I just want to, let, let me play you a clip of a moment where I agree wholeheartedly with Belle Aubrey. I like this video. This Trisha Paytas redemption arc is over now listen, somebody was like, girl, but just the other day she was trying to redeem Trisha Paytas. Okay. Uh, listen, we're not going to get into that. We're not going to get into it. But let me show you. Here's a take that I wholeheartedly agree with her on. Are you going to play? No. I also saw people making this take that makes my brain want to fall out of my eyes. Same. Like, I saw some people saying that we can't believe Trisha because apparently they have been essayed too many times and that just couldn't happen. Like 11 times, that's just too much. What kind of logic is that? Like genuinely, I'm not even being like facetious or anything. Like I'm, I'm genuinely trying to I'm know. I'm saying. How do you come to that conclusion in your brain? How do you think that you can only be essayed X amount of times? Is there some kind of law that means that it's extra illegal if it happens X amount of times and so that somehow makes you immune? No, that's not how this works. In fact, unfortunately, it's often the opposite where if you are essayed once, it oftentimes will happen again because of so many complex intersectional issues that I am not going to get into in this video. But to say that we can't believe Trisha because it's happened too many times, so now they're like the boy who cries wolf or whatever, like, no, that's not how this works. And that's- 100% agree. I 100% agree. And that's one of the criticisms that I have with Mysterious T. But when I say it, people get their panties in a bunch. Well, sorry. Okay, I'll just let the pretty pink lady say it, okay? The pretty pink lady can say it, and y'all give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. So, this is just letting you know I am not a hater. How do I, uh, how do, I did not ask you to go into full screen. Oh, oh yo, I'm trying to reacclimate my life to Mac, and it's, it's some growing pains. Okay. So all of that to show and say, I'm not a, I'm not a hater. I'm not a Bell Aubrey hater. It's just that, you know, sometimes I disagree and I think it's worth the discourse. So Xylee on Xylee Get Real's, uh, little Zoom party. She was watching this video. We were chucking and jiving. And this is about Eugenia Cooney. If you don't know who Eugenia Cooney is, come on, girl, get with the pro. Listen, 
when it comes to this YouTube streets, wouldn't this be awesome if I like create a whole YouTube career off of the fact that I have been watching YouTube since YouTube was literally invented? That's like insane because it'll be like, like back when YouTube was invented, my parents were like, what are you doing on YouTube? Why? Can you, why? What about your studies? Why aren't you studying? You can put your face in a YouTube, but you don't want to put your face in the book, in the textbook. Yo. Then, here we go 10 years later. My mom talking about, oh, why didn't you post on YouTube more? You know you could be making big money by now. Excuse me? You the one who took my computer away when I was on YouTube for too long, so I mean... You the one who every time I posted a YouTube video, you coming out with the chunkler. I mean, <laughs> and now you want to talk about why am I making that YouTube money? <laughs> this is immigrant parents are like. <laughs> you just want to listen. Actually, it's not even immigrant parents. I think it's just, a, it, that's just parents. It's a generational divide. It's like, listen. Just because I put you on game don't mean you need to punish me for putting you on game. Like, you don't realize that I put you on game till a decade later. I'm saying. Anyway, let me calm down because cause it's time to go to bed soon. But anyway, I just, that's just a cool thought I had. Like, what if we grow this? Because I have all this back knowledge of YouTube stuff that's useless in the real world. But this dude is going to explain to us who Eugenia Cooney is so you can get caught up to speed, okay? Willie Mack. Clue us in. But what if this was applied to someone who was already under some serious mental and physical stress? What if they were actively going after her livelihood? What if they made up conspiracies about her family to find a non-existent boogeyman to put the blame on? Their victim is Eugenia Cooney. If you don't know who Eugenia Cooney is, she's described as one of the nicest people on YouTube. Well, I think you're gorgeous. Oh, thank you, Kuhai Kira. Well, you are gorgeous too. Thank you. I appreciate that. She does makeup videos, cosplay, and if you haven't already noticed, she suffers from anorexia. I think you'd probably be a little prettier if you weren't dying. People will go into her live streams and say some <laughs> really mean things. See the fan art of you on the beach with your mom. Girl. I did. And although she's able to play it off most of the time and put on a smile. Why do I look like a skeleton? I don't know. Um, uh-uh. I don't really uh -uh. think I look like uh -uh. a skeleton, really, but I mean, I think skeletons are cool. Y'all, so. y'all messed up, bro. Like, kid. Shame on you and shame on them. Your days are numbered. Just look at you. But eventually, they uh -uh. wear her down. I don't really know why some of you guys are so demanding of me. Like, guys, like, the thing is, like, you guys don't understand, okay? Like, everyone just comes in my stream, like, what are you attack me lately, okay? All of her videos have been disliked bomb to hell. Your body is actually disgusting. You are the bane of my existence if you are going to starve yourself. Why don't you speed up the process by killing yourself? Like what is your wrong with people? Suddenly you're going to die and not many people are going to care. Point is, Eugenia Cooney is not new to hate. In fact, she's been around so long, people have gone on to hate her parents. It's a long story, but I think giving the context is important because in many ways, it's a lot like the Gabby Hanna, Jesse Smiles situation. Eugenia Cooney How has always suffered like from her eating disorders. She mostly keeps her battle private, trying to focus on things that keep her happy, like makeup, clothes, video games. But since anorexia is a visually obvious thing, it's become the focal point of her audience. In 2019, she was definitely at her lowest point. Pictures of mm. Eugenia Cooney in 2019 shows that she was at a low point. Even PewDiePie, who never touches that side of the internet, said something. I don't know how to talk about this. I don't know what to say. But Eugenia Cooney Ooh. uploaded this video a few days ago. Oh, I remember that. I just really want people to send Ooh. her. Uh, as that was the point where we were like, enough's enough. Eugenia, get some help. Eugenia, get some help. Now, let me. I, The video is already 15 minutes long and I didn't say this. Well, I hope you're still watching. I, my past career was as a registered dietitian and I specialize in eating disorder. So I worked in eating disorder inpatient, which means you're in the hospital. And I worked outpatient, which means you're at like a rehab facility. Um, we have really nice ones, especially here in this area. 
actually, yeah, this is a good city. If you want to work in the eating disorder field, this is a really good city to, to do it. We have some really nice facilities, um, inpatient and outpatient facilities. Um, we have full-time outpatient where you literally sleep here. It's, you know, it's like kind of like a little mini mansion and you sleep with all the other girlies and occasional boys and the non-binaries as well. I mean, you get, you get the whole gamut. You're dealing with generation, uh, what y'all call it? generation Z and generation alpha now. Hold up. How old is the oldest generation alpha? Hold on. Let me see. How old? I was working with millennials, Gen Zers, and let's see. How old are you? Between 2011. So the oldest one was born in 2011. Oh, so you 10. Yep. So we were, we were working with Gen Alpha too. We were working with Gen Alpha too. Okay, we've had we've had patients as young as six years old. We have babies. Yes. They come in for the eating disorder. So that's that's what mm, I really should have said this in the beginning of the video. Should I restart this video? No, no. Cause I need to go to bed soon. Cause it's already not now. We just gonna roll with it. We just learn, listen, learning and growing. The next time I make a video about diet related stuff, I'm gonna preface the video and let you know my credentials. And you also have a master's degree in clinical nutrition. So this is just my opinion. This is like I'm not listen. I'm not diving back. I'm not diving into the research studies. I'm just going based off you know my knowledge as somebody who was working and studied and did research papers and all that. Oh Lord, I'm so glad I'm not back in school. Anyway, let's continue now, 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 now. Let me give you my thoughts on Eugenia Cooney before we go on because I, when it comes to people's weight, like people who have weight issues, like Amberlynn, Nikocado Avocado, Eugenia Cooney, I have never felt the need to, I don't know. I never felt the need to put a, to apply pressure. You, 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 you get me. I never felt the need to, did you know you're anorexic? Did you know that you're obese? I, I just, to comment, I just never felt the need and it's probably because of my profession, but I just never, I just, it just, honey, when it comes to that, that kind of stuff, I kind of view it like any other, any other issue people have in life. You know what I mean? Like if some, if there was a YouTuber who was always smoking, um, Unless I watch that YouTuber, like if I genuinely watch that YouTuber, I'm going to, I'm going to be posting, Hey babe, have you ever thought about no longer smoking? You know, if I genuinely cared about that YouTuber, but I don't genuinely watch Eugenia Cooney. I, her content's just not for me. Nick Akato, Avocado's content is not for me. So I have no reason to just go out of my way and be talking to them. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just... It reminds me of this one dude. I don't I don't know this YouTuber. He was a YouTuber. He didn't have many subscribers and he had lung cancer and he had um I don't know, I don't remember what's called, that little port to help him breathe and this dude was smoking on camera and people were like, "Bruh, you have lung cancer and throat cancer, my guy. Stop smoking." But I was also kind of like, "Well, there's some people who once they get like the really bad diagnosis, they don't care anymore. They want to enjoy as much as they can enjoy. So they kind of feel like, why, why should I stop smoking? I already have the cancer. And yeah, the man is, the man's gone. The man has passed. Um, but I don't know when it just, when it comes to stuff like that, like that kind of stuff, I just kind of feel like, 
You know, what, 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 what do you want? What am I supposed to do about it? Like, I don't know you, you don't know me. You don't care about me. You don't know me. I don't know. That's just how I've always been. So when it came to Eugenia Cooney, I was just never on that train. I just, it just never bothered me the same way that it seems to bother a lot of people on YouTube. But when she was looking like that in that little, uh, kingdom hearts, Y'all remember that game, Kingdom Hearts? Oh my gosh, that was my game, bro. I was addicted. I was so into that game. But the, it was this one that it was just too much for everyone. It was too much, and I was like, ooh. Ba baby. Mm. It was like we. it can't be ignored, and everyone rallied together. And she went and she got help. Um, here's the thing, though. Okay, with eating disorder. Am I allowed to say eating disorder on YouTube and still be monetized? Here's the thing with it. That people don't understand. You don't go to rehab one time and, and you're healed. What's there's a Netflix movie about this actually? What is it called? Netflix movie about and I really liked it. What was it called? Uh, did I really just type ED about eating disorder? Is it to the bone? I think it's to the bone. Yeah, I liked it. I remember like I remember feeling like this was kind of this was interesting. Anyway, if you're if you're interested in that. Oh, I didn't even say trigger warning or nothing. I'm sorry, y'all. Trigger warning. <laughs> I'm gonna get better at YouTube, don't worry. Trigger warning, because if you have an ED, even discussing it, even listening to me talk about it, this is this is triggering. My video right now is triggering. It, it so I apologize that I didn't put a disclaimer but anyway so in this video in this movie I believe the main character she goes to the rehab and she comes back and she's still not cured and that is comp that is normal you have to go three five seven some people eleven fifteen child it's like a las drogas addiction baby when people go to the rehab for las drogas they don't come back and i mean some some people do some people need to go once but some people have to just keep going back here's another here's another netflix for you here's another one what's that with the horse it's a netflix show about a horse come on girl i'm not talking about horse girl is that's another good mental health film though that's a horse girl is is freaky but that was a really good if you're into mental health in in movies and stuff i recommend the horse girl Bo, bojack bojack horseman okay so this is another it's a series okay and at first i was like what am i watching like, I'm not here for the cute little g g gips and gaps. Like, I'm just not into that kind of comedy. But people are like, no, just keep watching. Just keep watching. And and I'm like, oh, okay. This show getting deep. This show get deep, honey. And so this character is a good example of, like, how hard it is. Like, what, even once you get to the, hey, kitty. Even when you get to the point that you're ready for change, you want to change, it's so hard. And you have to just keep, you have to just keep going back. You just have to keep going back. And that's one of the things <clears throat> when I was suffering with really severe depression, that's one of the things that kept me going. My understanding and knowledge that when it comes to mental health, it is such a struggle. And just keep, just be, just sometimes your only goal when it comes to anything mental health related is just to keep just keep going like that's your only goal like don't have any other goal other than 
keep going. W- wake up and let's go to the treatment again. Okay, wake up, go to treatment again. Like sometimes that's literally, that's like the only goal that you can have. This mental health thing is not no joke. And sometimes on YouTube, I feel like people talk about mental health in such a flippant way. Like, I don't know. I just, if you're struggling, I feel you. And it is truly a miracle. The fact that you're, that you went to bed. I know you, maybe you staying up. Okay. Maybe for you, it's like four in the morning. You going to go to bed though. At some point you're going to fall asleep and you're going to wake up again. And it's a new day and life around you is happening. Life doesn't stop. Okay. People finna call your phone. You still got to pay your rent. You know what I'm saying? People still on your behind. What, 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 whoop de whoop de whoop But the fact that you're still here, you're still existing, you've chosen to remain alive, that in and of itself is a huge accomplishment. So just so you know that, in case you forgot today and nobody told you. I've been talking for 26 minutes. We haven't even gotten to the video. You know what? I'm not going to stress about that anymore. Every time I make a video, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm rambling. And sometimes I even just re-record. I'm not going to stress about that anymore. This is my damn channel. This is my place. This is my personality. And if you vibe, you subscribe. And if you don't, you don't. It's okay. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's get it. Okay. Let's get into this. Let's get into it. So Eugenia went to rehab. She came back. She was looking better. Okay. Shane Dawson did a whole documentary. Listen, this channel is not a, we shall not name this person channel. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people don't even want to mention Shane Dawson because of his past and he's canceled. I, 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 this is not that kind of channel. Like Shane Dawson made a documentary. He did what he did. So I'm going to talk about it because it's relevant. Okay. He made a documentary basically reintroducing Eugenia to the world. Everyone's so excited. Wow. She's looking much healthier. And then she relapsed. This is normal behavior. She needs to go back to clinicals. She needs to go back and get treatment. But you know, everybody's journey is different when it comes to the mental health. You, you know, you know. Now, <clears throat> this video, Willie Mack, he talks about all these different people talking crap on her parents and this and that. And, ooh. We finna get into Katie. One of these days, we finna get into Katie. Which, by the way, because I associate Katie more this this is a therapist if you don't know who she is she's a therapist she has a youtube channel and a lot of people actually use her videos uh as part of their treatment they have their 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 they have their patients watch katie's videos but what's problematic about katie is she get into this youtube mess like she she getting into youtube drama like girl you are a you are a professional what are you doing getting up into this drama like imagine Imagine you go see a therapist and you've been seeing Katie Dr- Katie Katie Morton in all this YouTube drama and then your therapist start playing Katie Morton talking about what is anxiety? Well, anxiety did did did. It's just like mm, mm. <laughs> we going to get but I associate her with better help. There was this whole scandal about better help. I actually am somebody who pays for better help. And BetterHelp has been a huge help for me. I recommend, well, it's online therapy. You see each other via Zoom. So sometimes I feel like, no, there's some things that it's like, it's better to go in person. And there's some things where it's like, listen, let's get on Zoom. So, and also it was cheaper for me um, because they have like a financial hardship discount. And so it was literally the only way I was able to reliably get therapy. 
So anyway, I just have to make that plug to BetterHelp. I don't get paid off it. I sent them an email talking about, hey, listen, I have a couple subscribers. Can I get a little code so I can be making some money too? Like you having all these people who don't even use your service plug and talk about y'all. Can I actually use your service? Can I make some money too? At least can I get like a free month? Something anyway. So Willie is talking about all these people who are just very critical of her. And one of these people is our girl. Where are you, where are you at? One, it's our pink baby girl. Okay. So I just want to react to the part about pink baby girl because I believe the videos that he's criticizing are videos that I've seen. And I kind of, I feel like, mm, was this the video, were these the things that irked me the wrong way that made me to no longer get notifications from her? This among other things. There are other things that she said that I disagreed with, but when I saw this, I was like, oh, I kind of remember this. Okay, How about watch. the danger of Eugenia Cooney, pro-Anna content? Pro-Anna, sometimes referred to as thin spell, is someone mm. who's an advocate for an anorexic lifestyle. They claim she's influencing kids to be anorexic. So it's no longer about how awful the disease is and caring for her health. That's where we started. It's not even about the conspiracy with her parents anymore. Now it's, it's just Eugenia herself for just existing with anorexia on social media. And yep. Very similar to the fat phobic rhetoric. Um, that a lot of people have, um, people concern trolling obese people when actually you're mad that they exist. Okay. Um, yeah, people do that to Eugenia as well. And remember, Eugenia Cooney's content has nothing to do with her ED. It's the kind of content you'd see from any other YouTuber. Gaming, clothes, shoes, that's it. So what do these- mm -hmm. And it's kind of like when I talked about in my last video how that penguin dude is like, if Nakakado Avocado was skinny, I would still have the same criticism against him. And it's like, no, you wouldn't. So people need to stop playing. People need to stop playing about this. No, I'm not- I- I- like, it's like people, you know how people are like, I'm colorblind. I don't see race. People acting like I'm weight blind. I don't see weight. Yes, you do. Stop playing. People do? Well, they reach as far as they can. Just throw shit at the wall until something sticks. They've demonized her so much. They can this pretty much say mad. anything at this point and people I need will to watch believe more it. Which stuff, brings us to the mad. subject of YouTube's largest pro-Anna content creator, Eugenia Cooney. And yes, I did refer to her as a pro-Anna content mm. creator because despite the facade of doing makeup tutorials, cosplay, and clothing haul videos, oh, she, what you she called it a facade. She said, okay, so she thinks Eugenia's content is a facade. Okay, well, let's get into Eugenia it. Eugenia Cooney is really pushing is thinspo and a very dangerous pro-Anna agenda. You gotta okay, so she believes Eugenia is pushing pro-Anna agenda. Now, pro Anna, I remember growing up, there was so much pro Anna. It was like, it was really rampant. Like, it was all over the Life Journal. Honey, I'm old. It was all over the Life Journal, the Zanga, the Tumblr, uh, the We Heart It. It was everywhere, the pro thin spell. It was really bad. Like, Ooh, girl, the 2000s was a woo, baby. I love how her proof of this is just Eugenia existing in the thumbnails. Like she adds these. <laughs> yeah, it is. She's saying, oh, she's promoting. It's, it's thin spell. It's pro Anna. <laughs> she's existing. It's just her Giant existing. red arrows as if we can't already see her. How is Eugenia supposed to show off her new outfit yeah. without wearing? So, uh, yeah, like she, this is the fashion that she likes and pink baby girl. I'm, I'm calling her pink baby girl. Cause I keep not remembering her, her name, but pastel something bell. Let's call her pink baby girl. So pink baby girl is of the belief that Eugenia likes these outfits because it shows off her body, but it's like, I don't know about that girl because I like those outfits too. Like 
Let me do an OOTD, you know what I'm saying? Like, I... In that outfit. I don't know. When Eugenia is showing know. off her new shoes in the thumbnail, this lady adds a giant red arrow pointing towards her crotch. Like, dude, I think this says more about your character than her being pro Bro. Eugenia Cooney is 100% doing this. You can see it in her thumbnails. You can see it in her... So, we already feel like, mm, I don't know if I see it in her thumbnails. I mean, she's she likes different outfits and she's existing. So I don't know, like, how how else was she supposed to, how else is she supposed to be in the thumbnail? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Okay, what else? Her Instagram posts, you can see it. Okay, her Instagram posts, so we're going to look at that. In the Twitter posts, you can see it pretty much everywhere that she posts online. There's one particular Instagram post. Wait, I hope, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. you're not going to tell me a teenage girl posting pictures of herself. Is, that cannot be what you're referring to. This is what every teenage girl does on social media. So what are you talking about? Mm -mm. We need more. Pink baby girl, we need more. We need more. Post that I'm going to be talking about, and it occurred on October 25th. Attached to this photo, she has a caption that says, mm. what you think about yourself is more important than what others think of you. So in this photo, it seems like on the surface, it's about like positivity and mm -hmm. self-love and self-care and things like that, which are great and wonderful things. Watch how she'll twist okay. this. However, I have a hard time believing that this caption is about loving yourself and wanting to take care of yourself because okay. clearly she is not taking care of herself. Well, she's not getting no, better, no, so clearly- No, no, no. So, y'all have those friends that, um, they always post about their problems on social media. Like, they don't give details, but it's like, you know they're going through something because they're posting all these inspirational quotes and grand rising queens and kings. You know, you know, you know what I'm talking, you know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. Okay. They always post in all this inspirational quotes and just live your dream. And girl, you know exactly who I'm talking about, baby. It might be you. You might be the friend who's posting in the group chat, Grand Rising. Anyway, I'm just saying, um, a lot of times, if you know, sometimes you, you know the person personally, and you're like, girl, but you put yourself in that situation. You know what I mean? Like, you know the real T, and you're just like, oh my gosh, why are you acting like this? So my point is, sometimes humans are human, and they're not good to themselves. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes humans have a struggle in life. It might be self-inflicted. It might be they're too stubborn to see. It, you know, there's all kinds of reasons. Sometimes that's just how people are. Not sometimes. Every human goes through it. Guaranteed. And sometimes... Despite their struggle, they want to inspire themselves. They want to uplift themselves. They want to uplift others while also uplifting themselves. You know what I'm saying? I just did it earlier in this video when I was talking about the fact that you're alive right now. It's an incredible feat you should be proud of. You know what I mean? If I look so skinny and gaunt then you would be judging me talking about, well, you don't even take care of yourself. If I had acne pimples all over the face, you might be like, well, you don't take care of yourself because look at your face. You know what I mean? Like, that's mean. That's kind of mean. I don't like that take, girl. Clearly, she's trying to indoctrinate the youth. So people who are sick with a mental and physical disorder can't write positive messages. She has... Because let me let me also give you a little bit of insight about the pro Anna. Because the pro Anna community, it did have this might be mm, yep. This is this is what she's thinking. Yep. Okay. I'm get I'm getting into baby girl pink baby girl's mindset. The pro Anna community posts stuff like that. Like they will post it. 
the only one who can hurt your feelings is if you allow them to. They'll post the inspirational stuff and they'll they'll post it with an image of somebody that's really, really skinny. So, mm-hmm, this is what it is. She's triggered, uh-huh, because Eugenia reminds her of the stuff that people used to post in the pro Anna community. Mm-hmm. There's a clip yep. where she sits here and picks apart how Eugenia looks. In this photo, she's posed, and you can see her arms, her tendons are very pronounced. You can see her collarbones. Yeah, mm -hmm. man, she's anorexic. Uh, they have yeah, arms, yeah, too. Yeah, 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 She then follows this she's up anorexic. by saying... That's why she looks like that. I'm not going to go too deep into what she looks like in the photo because I don't think that's productive. Bro, you just did that. You just described every part of her body, her <laughs> tendons. What more could you have said? And people love this, man. They ate it up. I never left a comment. This really is a fantastic video. No, it's not. This is one of the most toxic videos I've ever... That's one of the frustrating things about... This commentary, comment, commentation. Because sometimes people will post a video that's actually not good. It's actually a bad take. And everyone's praising it. Oh my gosh, so good, so good. <clears throat> here's the thing. And here's why on my Mysterious T video, some of her stands are still coming over like, you need to take this video down. You know, your video has a lot of thumbs down so you should take it down now i don't move i don't sway with the internet because what the internet does is the internet has black and white thinking so one day shane dawson is a perfect example one day i can't believe you're talking bad about shane dawson he's amazing all the likes the next day, I can't believe you like Shane Dawson's video. He's a monster. All the dislikes. You know what I'm saying? One day, we're all, oh my gosh, Trisha Paytas, ha, 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 you're so funny. All the likes. You see those frenemies videos? It has nothing but likes. The next day, Trisha Paytas, you're a monster. We hate you. Get off the internet. See what I'm saying? Like, you can't. No, you can't just do things based off what the internet says. You can't, you can't have your heart based off of, well, I, I, I like this person, so I'm just going to blindly agree with them. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know, like I'm trying to be, I like this baby girl. I like this pink baby girl, but you know, like, you don't have to agree. Even my own, even my own subscribers will post, hey, Udoka, I disagree with you about da 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 Like, this is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? Proceed. Her Instagram basically follows that same pattern of posting a photo of herself looking very sickly, looking very thin, and then some kind of caption that is vaguely about self-care, self-love, or the importance of taking care of yourself. She literally described the entire app that is Instagram. Mm -hmm. Everyone yeah. posts a picture of themselves with some stupid goddamn quote. And because this is the tea community and nobody does research of their own, people like Repzilla are citing Bell as a credible source. This is how tea channels do research. Listen, Repzilla is something. <laughs> Repzilla is something else, bro. I just know Repzilla off of the rewired soul controversy because the rewired soul was like one of my first YouTube friends. He was like the first YouTuber to like talk to me and talk about content creating. So I felt like, Oh my gosh, we're friends. Then I started to realize, Oh, he fake. He's a social climber. I started to realize that. And, like, I started to notice how in his videos, I'm like, uh-huh, okay, yeah, you fake, you fake, okay, that's okay. That's okay, listen, I'm not, I'm not five years old anymore, you don't have to be my friend, you don't have to be my friend, you know what I'm saying? And then he started getting some mess, and I was like, baby boy, <laughs> baby boy, you better watch it, you better watch it, baby boy. 
and now his his channel has died it's like one of those channels where it's like no matter what he does he won't get views he can't get subscribers you know what i'm saying and repzilla was repping him okay he was acting all buddy buddy with him then when the internet's like no we actually hate this guy he do a he do a flip like you ever see somebody just flip <laughs> he did a whole ass flip talking about i don't know this man this is a whole kiki palmer i'm sorry to this man i don't know this man <laughs> i'm like repzilla you a dog <laughs> You is a d d d d dog. They watch each other's false information and then build off it with their own false information. Bro, can you believe the guy who cited an article? He couldn't even be bothered to read also cited Pastel Bell. You couldn't write something better than this. Now, since you got Repzilla making his video, he needs to bring something new to the table as well. He needs to up the ante just a little bit. Mm -hmm. See, Eugenia Cooney is clearly pro Anna because she used a blue butterfly emoji. She's become somewhat of a YouTube villain. And some of the things she does just seems too much of a coincidence, like posting captions with a blue butterfly. There you go, guys. No, a no, blue no, no, butterfly. No, 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 no. Excuse me. Let's Google. Blue butterfly. Let's talk about eating disorders. What's wrong with a blue butterfly? Ceruleanbutterfly.com. You're never alone. We started out as one of the second wave pro eating disorder websites. Ooh. On the internet and grew to be one of the most prominent websites in that community. Over the years, we have evolved into what we refer to as pro reality. What does that mean? We aim to support those in all stages of eating disorder from... Mm, hold on this is such this is because this is the kind of language that the pro anno people used to have like oh we support everyone in all stages that's the kind of language they used to have hold up mm. i don't know about this blue butterfly can i see the forum no can i play a game no can't do shit okay this is a blast from the past. I have not seen a form that looks like this in years. Oh my God. V, v bulletin. I have not seen a V bulletin. What a freaking blast from the past. Okay. Let's see. Pro Anna. Mmm. So it's a thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a thing. Now I just wanna know how many butterfly emojis are there? Or did they make did they call it cerulean butterfly because the emoji is blue? Positive transformation. Yeah. Hope during dark times. So during, so with this Gabby Petito thing, people, she used to, she used to post with a butterfly. And so maybe, maybe I'm just old. I didn't know that this butterfly is supposed to mean, you know, hope, ch better changes, new beginnings. That's what it's supposed to mean. So uh, it could mean either one. She could be doing either one. And this Cerulean Butterfly, they said that they were created, I take it, before the blue butterfly emoji ever existed. Yeah, 2004. I don't know. We can't say. We can't say. We need, we need more evidence because right now, I'm not with y'all.
That's the hard evidence. That's why Eugenia Cooney you, has yeah, become not... a villain. The blue I'm butterfly has been linked really? to pro-Anna circles before. Eugenia actually responded to this. Just so you guys know, me posting a butterfly emoji is not at all meant to mean anything bad. I just like butterflies. There's really no hidden message to it. Probably the most rotten part about all this to me is these tea channels are always framing their videos as if they're the hero. I reached out to Eugenia and asked if she would be willing to watch that video. Girl, no. The video where you're body shaming her for existing, telling her that she can't be in her own thumbnails. Uh, I thought that maybe it would help her and maybe she would be able to relate to it. No, I know you lying, girl. I know you effing lying because you've had an ED. You should know more than anybody else that a stranger making a video about you pointing to different parts of your body is triggering as hell. I know you lying, girl. You know you, she ha mm. Pink baby girl has to know she was wrong for that. Does she know? What did you, what, I wanna know, what did Eugenia say? And it would inspire her to get the help that she needs. I know you lying. Unfortunately, she didn't respond. Okay, thought, as she should. What are you supposed to say to that? Well, what, what, what are you supposed to say to that? It's like, See, like, I have depression, right? And every now and then, somebody's trying to fight with me in comments. I don't know why people try to fight with me in comments. It's one of those things where I leave, like, a very, oh, this is a great video, do, 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 comment on somebody else's video, and then some random person want to come and start responding to my comment all hostile, trying to fight. And I'm just like, what do you want? Like, see, you're, you are stuffing up my notifications. What is it that you want, sir? And it's, it's often a sir. I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know why it's often a sir. It's ma'ams that come to my page and it's sirs that want to talk to me on other people's pages. I don't know why. And they just trying to fight. And then maybe they'll come to my channel and they'll see I made a video about depression and they'll be like, Try to give me advice about depression. It's like, I don't know who you are. Who are you? Leave me alone. Uh-uh, uh-uh, girl, pinky. No, 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 no. Uh-uh, that was not good. No, 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 no. No, this is one where if we were friends, I'd be like, girl, don't send it. She's going to be like, I already did it. I'm like, no, you didn't send it. I already did. <laughs> but for a long time about what else I could do to help Eugenia and to help other people who are struggling with this. And the only thing I could come up with in my head was to unsubscribe from her YouTube channel and to report her Instagram account and unfollow. Guys, I did oh, all damn. I could. I sent her my YouTube video. Only thing left to do is ban her. Damn. <laughs> Okay, so I guess her solution was to de-platform Eugenia Cooney, and this was not abnormal. Um, I remember people were like, we need to de-platform Eugenia Cooney. And I remember being like, why? What's she do? What's she do? What's the tea? She's anorexic. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, she, she has a problem. What's wrong with it? Is she telling people to be like her or something no but her mere existence is a uh, it's detrimental no 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 no. y'all can't just be banning people for existing that's horrible you know there are people who who want to ban trans people for existing there are people who want to ban obese people for ex existing you know what I mean? Like, there's people who want people who look like me to not be existing on their YouTube. That's why they be... You know that, girl, if you a black girl on YouTube, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Y'all can't be doing that. This is not me trying to cancel Eugenia. Yes, it is. What, what, it's by... What do you mean? What does it mean? If you reported her and that you telling us that you reported her, you probably want us to report her. Then she'll get off of the Instagram. I mean, that's what cancel. That's what cancellation is. That's 
That's what we did to Shane Dawson. That is cancellation. That's what we've been trying to do to Jeffree Star. This that is cancellation. By definition, you trying to cancel her. Is, I'm yeah. not canceling her. I'm just trying to take away her social media accounts, her job, everything she loves in life. I don't want her hurting kids part. with her platform. I don't want her to advocate for pro Anna content. The evidence used for Eugenia being a thinspiration for kids is accounts with very few followers, posts okay. that are years old and are usually getting ratioed by other users. And if you look at the dislikes on her videos or the people following her on Twitter, it becomes very clear that yeah, her Yeah, it's like, all these people are like, oh, it's promoting anorexia. She, that's, that is who, that is what she is right now. She doesn't talk about her issue. The only time she talks about it is because people are asking her about it. The comments are flooded with, eat a hamburger. I mean, we know. Now, there's going to, I mean, yeah, is there going to be somebody who sees Eugenia Cooney and is just like, she's goals. I don't care what the haters say. Yes, because we see that with Trisha Paytas. There are people who are like, I don't care what she said. Trisha Paytas is goals. You know what I mean? I'm going to her wedding. She invited me to her wedding. There, Yes, there's people who, you know, they're just ride or die like that no matter what. Like, they see what they see. The heart wants what it want, what want, what want, what want, what wants. But um, you you can't just tell somebody to not exist. Oh, we don't mean to not exist. We just mean not on YouTube. Okay, she enjoys YouTube. Why are you telling like that? Was like if you told me no, okay, you shouldn't be on YouTube. Why? Because you exist. Because you look how you look. No, leave me alone. Audience is not made up of kids. And I don't. I guess my life philosophy is just like you know. How would you feel if that was happening to you? How would it make you feel? You know what I mean? Like, think about, just think about that, you know? I'm trying to think about that, too, as I make these videos, uh, you know, reacting and critiquing. Uh, every time I make a video and then you guys comment, I learn how to be better, you know? I don't want her to either directly or indirectly send the message that there is nothing wrong with having an extremely dangerous ED. The problem with Bell's argument is that the only evidence of there is nothing wrong with having and I don't want her to either directly or indirectly send the message that there is nothing wrong with having an extremely dangerous ED. The her mere existence is what you're talking about. Because she's not trying to promote that. Now, I understand the argument that She's not seeking help. Therefore, she's promoting that. And that one's iffy to me because would we prefer if she was seeking help? Yes, we would prefer it. You know, just like we would prefer if Nick Akato was seeking help. You know what I mean? But sometimes people have a vice and they don't, they don't get help for their personal vice. And you're saying because of that, they can't, like, they shouldn't enjoy what you're getting to enjoy, posting YouTube videos about, you know, not even, she doesn't even share her opinion on stuff. She just posts in little cosplays. I don't know. The problem with Bell's argument is that the only evidence of Eugenia being pro Anna is that she is anorexic. Even when she disavows mm -hmm. people trying to look like her, saying she's not trying to tell kids anything. Are you telling kids that this is natural? Guys, listen, I'm not trying to tell kids anything. Nothing I'm saying right now is like a message to kids about how their body should look. Yeah, so that is when she was denying that she had anorexia and she was trying to tell people her body naturally that her body naturally looks like that. And of course, we're calling BS. Um, but it's like, yo, she has, I don't know if people understand, anorexia is a mental health issue as well. Like, I don't know, maybe, I don't know if people understand that. I don't know. It's a mental health issue as well. It gives you very insidious thoughts. It gives you a lot of delusional thoughts. So for her to be saying, this is just how my body naturally is, that could be a defense mechanism or one of the delusional thoughts that her Anna is giving her. I, I don't know. And like, like I said, this used to be, this used to be my everyday, like every, every single day. 
treating people like Eugene, who, like Eugenia. So maybe I'm just used to it. Um, but, but people do that all the time. Like not just with Anna, but with like other things. I think the pushback is fine, right? Like the person who asked the question, are you saying it? So you're telling kids, I think that pushback is fine. I think questioning is fine. That is fine. But these people who are telling her that she needs to just get off the internet, that's not fine to me. Listen, I'm not trying to say like, I'm so perfect. I'm not trying to say like, make me your role model. I'm not trying to say that like at all. Okay, I'm just kind of doing the best like I can in life and all that. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm not like, I can't really babysit like all the kids on the internet. She sounds like, like Cardi that. B. When people are like, Cardi B, my daughter is seven years old. Did you know that? And Cardi B's like, okay, then raise your daughter. I ain't her mama. <laughs> Cardi B's like, I never said my music was for your kids. And no matter what she says, how she says it, it doesn't matter. Because in these T-Channel's eyes, she's already guilty. Even if Eugenia is saying that she doesn't want to be Thinsbo for these people, she is. And mm -hmm. she can't ignore that. Like the Yeah, that's true. You know, even if Cardi B wants to say, I'm not raising your kids, my music's not for your kids. The kids is listening, right? So let I want to hear your conclusion. Facts are right here. There's so much evidence that she is. So I don't understand how she can sit there and act like she's not. Yeah, this is. Okay. So people have the same argument for Cardi B. Well, you know that you are. How can you sit there and say that you're not? Well, because you are telling her that her life needs to be dictated by the masses. And that's that her art should be dictated by the masses. And that's not right. I don't think that's right. Now, I have a lot of respect for artists like Kiki Palmer, who, who will say, I know a lot of kids look up to me, so I'm taking on that responsibility. I consider that when I make my music. Do I have respect for that? I have a lot of respect for that. I think that's so admirable because it's a self-sacrifice. You are purposely kind of limiting how far you'll go because you have taken on this responsibility. You accept it. You see it as serious. And I respect it and admire it. But I don't feel it should be a requirement for people. You know, I don't feel like if Cardi B want to be showing her tig old bitties, I think Cardi B has the right to show her tig old bitties. And if there's other people who say, well, I know kids are watching me, so I'm not going to show mine. I think that's, that's, I think that's respectable too. It's literally the argument people made for PewDiePie being alt-right. He was posted to an alt-right website by alt-right people. And even though he disavowed it, he was still declared alt-right. Now, is that fair? No, of course not. Because statistically speaking, if you have millions of subscribers, you're going to have a few extreme people in there. See, mm -hmm, turning Eugenia Cooney sure. into a boogeyman, Look at giving all- cute, she's so cute. Of Look subscribers, you're going to have a few is. extreme people in there. See, turning Eugenia Cooney into Doesn't a boogeyman, so giving all of her cute. audience EDs, apparently wasn't far I enough. Really they decided to promote a petition. The Remove Eugenia Cooney from YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter petition. And the yeah, first person I found promoting this I'm was sorry. Jacqueline Glenn. Yeah. Like, people have a petition on Trisha Paytas, like, what do you, why do y'all do that? You know, the petition just lets the person know that you, you don't like them. You know, the petition don't do anything. The hell? <laughs> That's the same person who 5150 Eugenia. Also goes on to explain that YouTube states in its TOS that they don't allow content that encourages dangerous or illegal activities that risk serious physical harm or death. Yo, they're trying to ban her on a technicality. I guess if you can't see the person with anorexia online, that means they don't exist. If Eugenia Cooney That's just having an eating do. disorder qualifies her as encourages dangerous activities, well, what about other eating disorders? Nick Akato Avocado is someone whose actual content relies on feeding his disorder. This is how he looked when he started his channel. I haven't made a video for about one week now. This is him now. <laughs> I don't like to, I don't want to talk about him Definitely. again. Let's keep talking. Because Nick Akado was underweight when he first started his channel. Okay. So he just, he just never was, he never 
he he doesn't that his relationship with food is just kind of off does kilter. seem to have some disordered eating habits and some very unhealthy relationships with his body image and with food i think that his ed is very different from eugenia's no no that don't make sense his ed is very different from eugenia's what do you mean like she doesn't eat and he eats too much but it's still E. It's still E D. Uh -uh. No, I'm not understanding. What do you mean? His is very different. It you because she's implying that his is so different. It's different in a, such a way that he should be allowed to continue making content online, and Eugenia shouldn't. And then no, 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 no. At our E D rehab house and at the hospital, we treat both. We no, we don't say we treat both both of these are eds and you're on the same floor and you're gonna see me and i'm gonna give you a meal plan and one of you finna get insured actually both of you finna get insured because <laughs> you are my meal plan oh what these two you, you think they're different huh yeah I, man i'm really confused i how how are these two different? You know, I'm, I think it might have something to do with him eating a truckload of food every upload. Just fucking say it. She's so worried about offending someone. Watch how she tiptoes around this. We yeah, I feel... <laughs> yeah, she's afraid of the fat phobic backlash. She's afraid of coming off as fat as fat phobic. Otherwise, no. You, otherwise, how you... Like, people really don't know how to keep the same energy. Like... No, 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 no. Oh, let me hear her. You can see that Eugenia's is much more closely aligned with what society deems as beautiful mm, for young people. I see what you're saying. And even though her body is not necessarily the ideal, it is much more similar to what is conventionally attractive, which is to be thin. Whereas okay. Nikocado Avocado is not really within what is societally deemed as conventionally attractive. She's a fat fuck, she's underweight, and both their eating disorders are ruining their lives. I like how in the most professional way, she tries to say that Nick's ugly. Nikocado Avocado is not really no. within what is societally deemed no. as conventionally <laughs> no. attractive. We can Stop. see that Eugenia's is much more closely aligned with what society deems as beautiful. I, much I understand what she's saying. She feels like there's more pressure to look like Eugenia than there is to look like Nick, so Eugenia's appearance. I don't want, I don't even want to say her ED because we don't watch her eat, we're not watching her food ab habits, we're looking at her appearance. And, and you feel her appearance is more likely to affect people because they're already being affected by that look. Um, in other places. Much more similar to what is conventionally attractive, which is to be thin. Wouldn't that make Eugenia a victim of society then? Isn't she a symptom of a greater problem? Take it up with Hollywood and the modeling industry then. If you look at her comments, Twitch- And what I don't understand is why that doesn't make the other one okay. Like if you don't like ED and you're trying to de-platform somebody with ED, you, that doesn't mean the the other type of ED should now be okay. Donations. Not many people want to look like her. She gets made fun of more for the way she looks than anyone I've seen online. And if this is a societal conventional beauty problem, then you're just kind of victim blaming her. Nikocado avocado is not really within what is societally deemed as conventionally attractive. Now, I'm not saying there's anything Girl, wrong with him did she because edit of that. that. I'm just saying no. that his content is not going to influence people to want to look like him. What do you no, mean? No, no, this no, is no, no, girl. No, 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 girl. No, that's not true. No, his content is... He... His content encourages people to mukbang. Part of mukbang... I mean, I love mukbang. Depends on the person. I like that honeybee girl. But some people enjoy eating. Actually, I enjoy eating with the mukbang. Every now and then I try it. I'm like, oh, let me eat this with her. No, girl. She's trying to say because she thinks his body type is unattractive. And but society tells us it's unattractive. That means he's not negatively impacting people by his video content 
No. She's no, she's really trying to avoid the fat phobic thing because usually what we hear are people being so fat phobic that they're like, oh my gosh, we can't have a fat person on the cover of a magazine. That's going to encourage people to be fat. That's what we usually hear. And she doesn't want to come off that way. So she she do want to dance around. Peak male performance. <laughs> Just look at the mental gymnastics Pastel Bell has taken us through to try and derail this conversation. It starts off with Eugenia Cooney and how even though her content isn't based around her eating disorder, her just being on camera can still trigger some viewers' ED. She's causing yes, many of her young that's what and she's vulnerable saying. viewers. The fact that she, that she exists on camera is triggering. But there's a whole side of YouTube that I try to avoid. Where they feel like a fat person's mere existence on camera is a detriment to society to have eating disorders of their own and to cause relapses for those who might already be struggling. They then go into the self-harm argument, citing how you can't upload content that encourages dangerous or illegal activities. The activity being existing with an ED. When people point yeah. out that Nick Akato has a binge eating disorder that's negatively affecting his life, statistically mm -hmm. speaking, there's a lot more people for him to cause relapses for. And unlike Eugenia, his content yeah. actually revolves around his disorder. Clickbaiting his disorder gives him views. When the same arguments, the same logic can be used about Nick, it's different due to society. For fuck's sake, he sells merch about his eating disorder. He a blue I gotta, I gotta agree with you, Willie. I mean, she's really trying, she's pulling the, well, society tells you to be skinny, so Eugenia looking too skinny is, is bad. And because society tells you fat is ugly, Nick Ricardo's ED is fine. No. I mean, it just, it's not adding up for Butterflies. Me. How could you possibly make her seem worse? Well, let's find out. So in order to bring more views to her channel, she decided to purposely flash the camera multiple times over the course of this video. Now, I do oh, say purposely because I do not believe this was unintentional or that she didn't realize what she was doing. Yes, okay, Eugenia made girl. a shoe haul video, and when she goes to show off her shoe, a bit of pink underwear shows. Belle, of course, doesn't show this in her video. So her I don't want to be a creep and like, let's examine, was that really underwear? That looked like, um, you know, like them booty shorts, the stuff that you wear so that people don't see your underwear. That's what it looked like to me. Audience doesn't know how mild it actually is. It looks pretty accidental if you ask me, but Bella is like full on conspiracy with it. This is clearly a desperate and pathetic attempt by Eugenia and her mother to try to bring some more contrast and more views to her channel. This is clearly that. Mm, we'll clearly, see. really. She, the only people that bring controversy that? to her channel are you guys. What is the proof that makes you so sure? <laughs> we know that this was not an accident is because her underwear and her eyeshadow matched. They were the same color. Hey, you guys remember when this was a channel that actually cared about Eugenia Cooney's health? Yeah, me neither. This what? is the best part. She was wearing a plaid red outfit and her underwear was pink and it looked like her eyeshadow was pink as well. It's not, it's red. If you take the image into Photoshop and sample the colors, it's red. The underwear is what pink. What are you it talking does not match. about, You girl. can delete this slanderous video now. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm getting dressed, I do not match my eyeshadow to my underwear. I match it to my shirt. Oh my God, it does match your shirt. It's just fucking red. 300,000 oh people watched this video and what said, yep, hell? that makes sense. They've now demonized her so much. You can literally uh, say anything about no. her and people will believe it. And this whole time while she's making videos from banning her to her fucking underwear, Belle's making tweets like this. Anyone familiar with Tess Holliday? She's a plus size model who just came out about her struggle with anorexia. Yes, this ED can affect anyone. Let me know if you want a deep dive on this topic i don't think she has a tess holiday video on her channel but tess holiday's ed it's okay to talk about tess it's totally fine that tess holiday exists because she's not ultra skinny yeah so so she really has a thing against too skinny like when it comes to too skinny now listen i'm gonna start i'm gonna make a video about somebody who's too skinny her name is freely the banana girl I'm going to make a video about her because Freely's existence online is to promote her body type and promote a very unhealthy, dangerous diet to try to get people to have her underweight body type. That's wrong. I want to talk about these ex-vegans who were lying that they were vegan, talking about, oh, it's the pinnacle of health, and then they get caught 
And that's when he started talking about, and actually I had all these health ailments. I have a very big bone to pick with people who are trying to promote an unhealthy diet for profit and they're promoting it by showing off their bodies that are underweight and trying to promote it by saying that they feel so good, they're healthier than ever, they're healthy as a horse, but actually there's an underlying disease that they're not sharing that was caused by the diet. I have a big bone to pick with these people. I don't understand what is the bone to pick with Eugenia. She's talking about makeup and cosplay. And you don't have an issue with anybody else sharing their ED online. This is not fair. That's not fair how you're treating her. Because I don't think she ever intended to upload a test holiday video on her channel. So you're saying Eugenia should just look like that? My God, could you pick someone who looks more unhealthy? She looks like she's about to puke in both of those photos. Eugenia, just start shoveling food down your throat like Nick Nicocado Avocado. That's the solution. So Remember, to listen to Bell, not the therapist. Nick Diorio had a short segment in his last video laughing at Bell's underwear criticism, to which Bell made a whole ass <laughs> video in response where she doesn't even name him. She lies about okay, all the slander she she's ever made on Eugenia while also somehow she doubling so down on everything. You just have to cute. see it to believe Fair. it, people. So it's come to my attention over the last few months that there are a few edgelord creators out there on YouTube who are- We're edgelords? Because we- because we think this is ridiculous, that this is unfair. Taking my stance on the Eugenia Cooney situation and twisting it to fit their own self-serving narratives. And I find it pretty disingenuous, but also honestly, pretty disgusting to take a situation as serious as this and to purposely spread misinformation about it. Is she going to mm. show a clip or cite any of the misinformation that was said about her? No, yeah, of course not. Because it doesn't exist. She's what did he say? Hold on. Let's cite any of the said. misinformation that was said about her? No, of course not. Because it does Eugenia says she didn't understand why people were harassing her be because there are bigger issues to worry about. Actually, safety of children is always one of the biggest issues. On the petition, a mother stated that her nine-year-old stopped eating to look like Eugenia. Okay. And and there, there are people who are petitioning to get Tess Holiday to end Tess Holiday's career. Um... And they can say the same thing. My nine-year-old is eating too much to try to look like Tess. Like, actually, what, what, what you need to do is you need to teach your child healthy freaking eating habits and give your child some of their own self-esteem so they're not trying to look like people. Like, you need, to parent, you need to parent your child. Like, what the hell? You can't just use somebody's existence as a... As, as a to pitchfork what the hell what it, no i am so ah uh, this is annoying me doesn't exist she's just trying to make herself a victim so there's this narrative out there that people with eds and people like eugenia should not be allowed to exist online because they have an ed and this That's is gross it's harmful and it doesn't actually fix the problem and this is okay. also not something i have ever advocated for on my channel why what, what, what the fuck, dude? Is she well, what, what have you been advocating this whole time then? No, no, no. Oh, no, I need to, I need to understand. Then what has she been advocating for? She's serious? I, I cannot believe mm. she came on here and said that. Dude, you drove that narrative harder than any. She, I know, she really Trisha Paytas. That was a Trisha Paytas. Buddy. The Eugenia right Cooney petition reached 37,000 signatures, which triggered a notification to Susan Wojcicki. Trick, e -share. what are you trying to promote? You pushing the... You really pushing this, uh... <laughs> YouTube and Twitch CEOs. Please protect your communities and remove her age-restrict creators who profit from self-harm and influence vulnerable young fans and... Oh! So we have to age-restrict Eugenia, but not the mukbangers? The process. She's got a whole-ass video titled, Why I Support the Eugenia Cooney Petition. And this is also not something I have ever advocated for on my channel. I'm tired. And so I'm it's very confused about people who try to bring this up. When people try to say oh that, my like, God, I'm so I have in any way, shape, or form condone that. She's going to make me do it. I can't believe it. She acts like she doesn't have nine straight months worth of videos saying it. She is not only allowed to post her videos, but she is also allowed to monetize them. And her That's videos have yet to be age-restricted or removed at all. I think the best Why? thing that you can do is block it 
Report it to whatever social media site. Team YouTube, hundreds of viewers have reported Eugenia Cooney's channel in the last two weeks alone. She violates her TOS. At Team YouTube, Susan Mojicki, why is nothing being done about Eugenia How Cooney's channel? TOS? time starts holding itself accountable and acknowledging that this behavior is not okay for Eugenia, just like it's not okay for any other content creator on this platform. Oh, but, but... Eugenia is the only content creator on this platform that can exist on the platform. All the other content creators that have the same problem as Eugenia can exist, but Eugenia can't. She said some of this stuff as recently as 30 days earlier, yet here she is. And this is also not something I have ever advocated for on my channel. If Belle is willing to sit here and blatantly lie to save face, what else is she willing to lie about? Did she lie about not knowing the color of her eyeshadow? Was she lying about Eugenia's parents? How honest was she being about anything she said relating to pro Anna content? That snowball she started rolling, where she had to stretch the truth a little bit more every time, has now gotten so big, so uncontrollable, she has to pretend she wasn't the one who rolled it in the first place. Now, if you're somebody who could be triggered by watching Eugenia's videos, my answer to you is to stop watching. It's a lot more reasonable than trying- And that's just what you have to do. Like, um, there's some YouTubers who I, I stopped watching. Because they triggered me. I started going down this YouTube rabbit hole of, um, people who fake their mental health. And there are some people who are posting this stuff that um, I feel like, who are you to say that they're faking their mental health issue? But some, some of these videos, I watch them. And there's some of these videos where they're they're just making fun of the way somebody is coping with their mental health issue. And, and I'll comment and I'll be like, that's not cool. And they'll be like, oh, uh, no, they're faking it. Ha ha ha. And I'm just like, bye. I can't, when something triggers me, What's another one that triggers me? Um, Mysterious Tease triggered me when she started talking about what are the odds that you'll be essayed more than once? When she's, mm -mm, I gotta X out. I gotta X out. I didn't report Mysterious. I don't report these people. I, like, unless somebody is blatantly you know, racist or some kind of bigot, unless somebody is just a bl like blatantly like you're call you're calling for violence against people. I don't know. Like unless somebody's like actually literally <laughs> breaking the TOS, I'm not reporting them. I'm just going to not watch them. I'm going to say my piece in the comments like that, that, Perfect example, the dad challenge podcast. I cannot stand this man. Can't stand him. He makes me want to barf. I can't, I can't look at him. Nope. That man triggers the hell out of me. And so I commented, I think what you're doing is wrong. He made it clear to me. He responded to my comments, made it clear to me. He don't give a damn. So I made my little video talking about, this is, this is why he triggers me. This is why I unsubscribe from him. Do, 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 do. I made my video to my piece. So other people who are feeling the same way can be like, you know what? You're right. Let me just unsubscribe too. And then of course he has his little cloonies that come through talking about, oh, well, I love him. He's my baby daddy. Okay. Good for you. And then we keep it pushing and I never have to see him again. That challenge podcast never, he does not show up in my recommended. He does not show up on my feet. He don't show up on nothing. He don't show up nothing nowhere for me. That is how I protect my peace. I do not report him. Why am I going to report him? I mean, honestly, I, actually, I think I could report him because he probably, delete. Uh, hopefully he deleted the videos by now, but he was calling for people to go and stampede some lady's house. But I don't understand. If something triggers you, you can let, don't watch it no more. Tell YouTube not, if every time it pops up, you click not interested. 
and you have a platform. This pink lady, she has 70,000 subscribers. You have a platform to say your piece, to say how you feel. And then you keep it pushing. Why are you trying to ruin her little life? Like, like I'm not trying to get Mysterious T to never post a video again. I'm not trying to get that challenge podcast to never post a video again. You know what I mean? These people that I don't like or that I disagree with, they have a right to be on this platform. I disagree with them or they trigger me. So I have the right to not be watching them. I have the right to say my piece about them on my platform. And keep it pushing because you know what? Sometimes people can change, you know, so, or sometimes it's really just I have a difference of opinion. I don't like it. But whatever you said over there, I said over here. You know what I mean? Like this is, you know, like, I don't know how else you say this. Like this, this is, you learn this in elementary school. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Trying to take away your job. YouTube has this neat feature where if they recommend you a video that you don't like, you can tell them to stop recommending it, you that th channel. Th Bell ends saying. the video by blaming that's Eugenia for saying. her own eating disorder and relapse. I see people online being like, oh, well, you have no way of knowing that Eugenia is actually affecting people in this way, or it's not actually her fault, or she's not causing people to be triggered or have EDs or relapse or anything like that. And I know that's not true because I know it happened to me. That's I got triggered and I relapsed. Then stop watching her videos. It'll be exactly. beneficial. Exactly. The argument is not, does her existence trigger people? Listen, Blair White existence triggers people <laughs> in multiple ways. Some people are triggered by her conservative views. Okay. Blair White, I, you know, like I said, I like Blair White as a person, but sometimes, and I like a lot of her videos, but sometimes I'm like, this ain't it. And Blair, it popped up on my feed. Blair White posted a video about is Demi Lovato uh, truly trans or is she a trans trender? I'm like, nope. I'm sorry, Blair. That's, that's one video I'm not watching because it's going to trigger me. I, I can already tell. And now I'm not saying I'll never, maybe I'll watch the video. Maybe one day I'm just, I'm like, you know what? Let me just watch this. I'm, I'm ready. I, I'm ready for the smoke. Let me just watch this. You know what I mean? But when something triggers you, you, you don't watch it. You don't watch it. You know, like. Like, girl, you really trying to, you really out here trying to, the, the thing that makes, that brings this girl joy in her life. Makeup and fashion and sharing it with her little friends online. And you're going to say, nope, her body triggers me. So she shouldn't exist on the same platform as me. Get the hell out of here. I'm not cool with that. I'm not cool with that. Actually, I did it to you. These little videos that you made triggered me. And you know what I did? I just stopped getting notifications from you. I turned off the notifications so I don't have to risk being triggered. <laughs> Like, I don't know. You understand what I'm saying? Like, people are not understanding. People are not understanding there's levels to stuff. There's, when it comes to what, when it comes to being offended, there's levels to it, right? And not every time you're offended, does it mean, oh, we got to deep platform this person. No. I'm, people finna say I'm a Trisha Stan, but I don't even think Trisha should be deep platform. No, Trisha triggers me. I made that one video about her talking about that musical and I'm like, mm, I can barely stomach it. Trisha triggers me. So you know what I have now done? I have unsubscribed and I don't watch her stuff. I don't watch her videos no more. Like there's levels. It's not everybody that offends you that needs to be removed from the platform. I don't know.
stressful for everyone involved. Eugenia Cooney already has to deal with a lot. She's very sick. The last thing she needs is these T channels making more conspiracy videos about her and her family. It's common for T channels to get mad at the commentary guys for being mean and using inappropriate words. They get mad because I call them retards, and I get it. Everyone has their own boundaries for what is and isn't too what far. Did you but call I've never them? done anything like this. This is some of the meanest, most messed um, up shit I've ever seen on the sir. internet. You apologize to Eugenia Cooney. She deserves that yeah, at the least. Pastel be Bell, you, Sloan, baby. Repzilla. You owe her that at the very least. Shout out to the Patreon homies. Drop Z, Broke okay. Wings, Anonymity, Hellison, Nebulous Shooter, Feed. So, thanks for re-triggering me, baby pinky. Yeah, I remember when now why I just took off the notifications. I just couldn't, I just couldn't rock with that. I just couldn't rock with it. I couldn't rock with it. I'm not reporting you. You need to, why can't you live and let live? This woman, this girl, Eugenia, she's not espousing hate speech. She's not calling for, you know, for dangerous things. You really just out here trying to get her canceled for existing in a in a skinny body. Like, what do you want her to do? I know you want her to seek help, but she's not ready for it. She's not ready for help yet. So what do you want her to do? You know what I mean? That's crazy. You wouldn't do that to anybody else. You know? We didn't even do it to that to that one man with lung cancer and he was smoking on camera. We were concerned for him, but we're not we're not gonna And that one he he wasn't it, that's not just his existence. He was actually doing something on camera. He was actually doing something. You really getting on this girl for existing. Because her body type triggers you. That's not that's not right. I'm sorry, that's not right. We don't even, you don't even do that for people who actually do something bad. Like Trisha Paytas actually slandered somebody. She actually slandered somebody's name. You know, there's people who are literally doing bad actions. You know, the type of people that we report are the people who are posting excessive gore. Um, the people who are posting, you know, excessive type of content that's not appropriate. We report people who like that, that one YouTuber who, who passed away cause he was like, let's see, um, if a bullet can go through all these books and he put all these books on his chest and his girlfriend pow, pow. And it went through the bullet went through. Yeah. That's the kind of video we report. We report when people was um, posting about that one boy who got bang banged and they were posting and he, and it was live stream and they were posting on YouTube. This young man got bang banged. They were posting it on YouTube. We report that stuff. We report, you know, pawn shop stuff. We report child pawn shop stuff. We report uh, a bus. We report physical a bus, mental we report animal a bus. There's all kinds of things that we report. What we don't report is this person is skinny. This person's too skinny and she's a little too comfortable with her skinny ass. Look at her outfit. She wearing all these different type of outfits. You know, that's the same thing people say about obese people. Look at this obese person. She's too proud. She's wearing a bikini. How dare she? You know, that that's what people say. You know, that's what people say about women. Oh, she's a, she's a S-L-U-T. Look how she's dressed. Look how she do her hair. She don't care. You know, you know, that's how, you know, you wrong for that. We've been chatting for an hour and 30 minutes. This is about the longest, one of the longest videos I've made. Thank you for listening. Thank you for hanging out with me before I go to bed. Um, because... If it weren't for you, I would be doing this just by myself in my bed. Do you know how amazing it is? I was telling my, my, my bae, he's sleeping. He actually goes to bed at a bedtime. And I was telling him, do you know how amazing it is that 
I now make videos doing what I literally do by myself in bed. <laughs> I was like, this is so amazing. This is, it's literally a dream come true. It's a dream come true. The only thing that would be better is, no, I don't think it would be better if this was like my career. Cause you know what, you know, when you were passionate about something and then you make it your job and now you're no, and now it's, it's ruined. That's what happened to me in dance. I made dance my job and I, and then I couldn't dance for a while. I was like, nah, I'm sick of it. But anyway, I really appreciate you when you comment. Um, it helps me build a parasocial relationship with you and I don't do lives yet. I'm just really self-conscious. So I'm not doing lives, but if you like me and you're subscribed, then there's other small YouTubers that you're probably subscribed to. And these YouTubers do live streams and you will see me in there, honey. So don't be afraid. If you be seeing me in other people's live streams, go ahead. Shout out. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, and one of these days I'll do live streams, but right now I'm just... I'm too self-conscious. I'm too, I'm really self-conscious and I don't know how to make all the, all the fancy little things work. I don't know how to do that stuff, but we'll get there. And I appreciate you getting there with me until next time. Much love, much luck. Peace out.